Now we're going to do some ear training using a basic scale finger pattern that works anywhere on the violin. So I want you to keep this in mind. You can't use open strings in higher positions. They don't work the same way they do in first position because they don't connect the third finger on a lower string to the first finger on the next higher string. So you can't use open strings. So let's start in first position on the D string. And I want you to start on your first finger and just play one, two, three, four with a whole step in between the first and second finger, a whole step in between the second and third finger, and a half step in between the third and fourth finger. It'll sound like this. Okay, now do that exact same pattern on the A string. That's a scale pattern. It works the same for any two consecutive strings anywhere on the violin. So again, it's whole step between one and two, whole step between two and three, half step between three and four. Let's try this. I want you to play a high third finger on the D string. This is technically a G sharp, but you don't have to worry about that. Just match that pitch, G sharp third finger on the D string. Now I want you to put your first finger where your third finger is right now. Match that pitch. Okay. Now I don't even want you to think about note names at all. I just want you to play that scale finger pattern. Whole step, whole step, half step on both strings. Here we go. Sounds like this. just played is a G sharp major scale and it looks like this. Yep, that's enough to strike fear into any violinist. Everything is sharp and the F is actually double sharp. That's what that little X means, which means it's, it's really just a G natural. And the key signature would look like this. So if I had shown you that scale with the music notation and asked you to play that scale in third position, your brain would have probably gone into overdrive. But when you focus just on the sound and the finger patterns, you can probably play it pretty well. And that's why I focus so much on ear training when teaching third position. You see how really difficult things are not that difficult when you're not letting music distract you and you're just using your ears to tell you where to place your fingers. So now I want you to play that scale finger pattern anywhere on the violin between any two consecutive strings. Put your first finger down anywhere, and then play whole step between one and two, whole step between two and three, half step between three and four. Try going up, and then do the same thing back down, so you play a full scale ascending and descending. Do this lots of times anywhere on the violin. In the next video, we're going to hone in on third position and learn how to play that using exclusively third position notes.